Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Notorious Squirrel, and today I'm wanting to do an unboxing of a gadget I got a couple of weeks ago now. Um, but it's very important, I think it's really cool. And this is a little bit of a sneak peek into what it may be, um, and it is the Just Call Me Coco. Oh, nice Just Call Me Coco ESP32C5 flipper expansion board. This one, I got two of them because this one's going to be the prize for the CTF for the running. Um, as far as the draw, there's going to be a prize draw at the end of the month for that, so check out Ghost Rats um, Discord channel. I'll put a link below in the description for that. And yeah, so this is an expansion board that has been made with a flipper by Just Call Me Coco. And this is super cool. How smart does that look? Oh, what's that? Look at that, that's cool. That coming out. So you've got the AWOC and just call me Coco collaboration. Nice pin protector there. Nice little detail just to hide in, in there as well. And just call me Coco on the certain screen. That looks great. Obviously, on the board there, you can see USBs go this way to make sure that nothing gets crossed or cried. I know there's a GPS uh, module as well that's been put into this, so that'll take care of all your war driving needs as well. And the finish on this is really cool. It's a nice, it's got that like, textured finish to it. So that looks really cool. Feels really solid as well. When you pick it up, it doesn't feel tinny. There's no nothing loose or there's nothing wrapping around. Obviously, SD card slot there as well. Yeah, there's nothing. Feels really good quality. The I paid £23 for it, which is equate to about $28, something like that, I think. Uh, but yeah, the delivery of it as well, considering I ordered from America and the UK, it came exceptionally quickly. And obviously, when you do have your board on, it's on top. But here's my C5 board, coming up at the minute as well. I've got my C5 board in one of Tron's, and again, I've got to talk about cases. Tron X uh, is the absolute OG of cases. This case, but just this case is absolutely insane. Like the quality in the print of this, it's, you wouldn't even believe it's 3D printed. It looks more injection molded. He is a, an exceptionally good individual at doing cases. So here we go. There's the board. I only have a problem with the is look at that so. logo and the cover. So yeah my only issue with is getting them out is always the tricky one. Where's that dry tool go? Tweezers always work well. I must have put that fry tool back in my drawer today. And now I have to put it in about an hour ago. Where are you? I'll just keep yourselves busy. Thank you. Cool. So a little prior tool. I hope we can uh, ease, ease this out somehow, somewhere. You may witness me getting this out, or you may witness me breaking my board. Pins left in there. Nope, got it all out in one hit. So again, so here we are. So again, as you can see, USBs, USBs that way, chip and antenna and coil that way. So get these lined up. Nicely. That looks cool. And then when it's all working, that'll obviously just sit and go on there like that and look like a beautiful little bambino. So what we'll do now, now I've got that all set up, I've got it pushed on top. It 
it's all ready to roll, I will jump on the laptop and I will get this flashed because at the minute there's nothing on here at all. So I need to get that flashed with um, the C5 Marauder variation so we can get going on that. So yeah, let's have at it. Hey, well, we're now on the laptop and we are in the Just One Coco Marauder repo here, the main page here. So first of all make sure you download the C5 PY flasher file and then also make sure you, do, you um, download all of the .bin files as well because you will need all them and put them into the right sort of folder setup. And if we click on this, and get, I'm sorry I'm getting very slow today. Um, here we are, and then we let it go down this and two different devices, the V4, V6, kit, mini clipper, mini boards, dead board pros. We want the USB 32 C5 dead kit. Click on this blue menu here and this will take you to the dev kit installation page. So as you see here, clone the repo um, in the workstation command line, navigate to C5 flasher. So we have done some bits I have already pre-installed. What you also want to do is click on this video here if you haven't already it goes to a content created by my Michael Mobile who is fantastic so uh, click on that go check him out if you haven't already so too far flash it so we'll open the command window we will pull up that we'll run the command and here we go we are oh look at that the great ASCII art that you watch that looks cool doesn't it so it is saying down here we are waiting for the connection to the device. Make sure you connect to the right terminal. Make sure you've got data cable. Data cables will have the black insert or blue or red. So make sure you've got that if you put in a USB C cable with a white insert, it's not going to work. We will connect said device. Yes, we do want to flash. Thank you very much for asking. And there we go. Look at all that beautiful data. Beautifully caressing and cascading down on the screen. I could watch stuff like this all day. Just writing it down beautifully. Mic for 100. Verifying and finished. Right, happy days. Let's pull the power out of this. Let's come back over to the camera and we can see what it's doing. So now that we've successfully flashed this, we can get our flipper out, which we always like doing. I'll reset this. We can plug this bad boy in. And we can go to apps, go to GPIO, go down to ESP, Marauder, and nicely little red light comes on, shows we've got power. So we'll scan AP. I'll turn this away because I don't want you to see my APs, you dirty little gremlins. Let's do some scanning. Let's see what's out there. Right, we've got some stuff, so right now, let's go down to list APs, get away you dirty little gremlins, let's see what number it is, right, so let's take note, zero is the one I want to do, so then the next thing you want to do here is to make sure you can attack the right network, go down to select AP, zero, Save. That tells us that it's on. Just go back. I'll go to attack. Let's attack, and we're off to the races. Ha! <laughs> I don't know if you saw that window then come up, and I might have to try and zoom this in somehow because I want it all tied up. But over there, I've got authenticator. So that's just deal my laptop. Ha! <laughs> How cool is that? So let's stop this. Connect back to that network. Right, then, so try and keep looking around. So you can see that window doing there. Click back on the second, surely. So, as you can see, we're on the attack on the deal. I have scanned my network, I've uh, added it to my AP, I've added it to the list, and all we need to do now is press um, attack and we will drop off. So you see there, my uh, internet connection bar. So in three, two, one, 
attach. Oh, boom. And that pops up. In the dark corner of the cyber world, I am the mysterious hacker profile. Codes are my weapons, exploring the unknown cyber realm.